Hi, welcome back to Homegrown Music. Today, I'm waiting to see if she shouts it out. Today, I am here with my co-hosts. What's your name? Mona Chain. Mona Chain. And me and Megan. I'm Miss Thompson, and today we are making a water xylophone. This is something that you should most water definitely. Cups. Yeah, can you say that? Say water. Water xylophone. Water xylophone. Water xylophone. So we are using a few different glasses with different levels of water to make some pitches. Pitches are the high and low sounds that you can sing. How good you can sing down. So today we are doing them with glasses. So before we get, I know, we got extra ones over there. So before we get started, I'm going to give you a little demonstration on how we tune these before we even started filming today. It's a lot of work. It's a lot of work. A lot of work for me. A lot of work for her. Tons of work. So the best way to tune is to first figure out what your glass sounds like empty. <laughs> la la la. And then if you want to change the sound, you're going to slowly pour in water. And my suggestion is to tap it as you're doing it and you'll see how the sound changes. as much as I can put it in there. So if you fill it up a little too much like mine, yes, it will sound very low, but it's also really hard to hear. So you're probably gonna have a little bit less water than that, but the more water you add, the lower your pitch is gonna go. Have fun. All right, so now we have our tuned glasses. We're starting out with only three. It's good to start small. And I like to use um, solfege, which is do, re, mi, fa, sol, la, ti, do. And that's what we're going to do with these because that helps me figure out a lot of songs. Sticks on your shoulders. Sticks on your shoulders. Yeah. Okay. So the first thing I want you to do is I want you guys just to watch. We're going to do a song that I bet you probably know. And I know that if I had you in third grade or older, you know this song too. Now, I know there's ways that you can take wine glasses and you can go like this around it, but I think that's just too difficult. So what we're using today are different really light things over here. I am using straws, for example, just plastic straws. Amelia, what do you have? Chopsticks. You have chopsticks, and what do you have? Sticks. She has sticks. She has chopsticks, too, because they're really nice to lightly hit, and they don't usually knock it over. Can you guys try it? Beautiful. Didn't knock it over. Can you do it lightly? Show me how lightly you can play. Show me. Oh, if anyone was going to knock it over, it was going to be you. Good job. You didn't do it. So if you have only three do, re, mi, you can do tons of songs. Isn't that beautiful? Do you like that sounds? Can I try it? So I could do A Claire de la Lune. Oh, it's my turn. Now, could you have fun with these without even making a real song? Yeah. Yeah. yeah you but, can just... Yeah. Or you can make an earthen pattern. Play more than one at a time. It will be so fun. There's so many different options. But it all depends on what you have around that you guys can use. All right. But, let's do something a little bit harder. If, if Two, we can do it minor. If you're younger than five, you can do it minor. You're younger than five. You can and do it like Ramona. And if you are past those two numbers, yeah. you can do minor. You can it's do a little, little trickier. trickier. It's a little and trickier. All right, we're back, and now we have one, two, three, four, five, six glasses. Sticks on your shoulders. We're always on our shoulders when we're not playing yet. Very good. So when I have this one, I now have do re mi fa sol la. So I can do a whole bunch Mama of songs with that. So can you watch it? I know she knows. She knows what song I'm gonna do. Can you put it on your shoulders for me? I want you to watch, okay? So I can go. Watch, watch. On your shoulders. On your shoulders, good. 
on your shoulders. No! And what's awesome is that Ramona added a little harmony on her own. We learned what harmony was last time, so this is a teaching at home. This is just what happens. All right, Mill, you want to give it a try? Do you want to see if you can do Twinkle Twinkle? Okay. So, Amelia, what I'm going to do is I'm going to point to the bottom of each glass, and you're going to hit above that water. If I point once, you're going to hit it once. If I point twice, you're going to hit it twice, okay? Okay, let's go. One, two, here we go. So now we're going to add a few more glasses. I think this is all of the kind of cylindrical glasses, the ones that have a bit of a circle top that I have, but I pulled them all out and I found that I could do some pretty cool stuff. So if you are in my fourth and fifth grade chorus, you will definitely know this one, which is where I got the idea because we're doing this on boom whackers right now. Let's see if you guys recognize boom that. Whackers. Boom whackers, they're kind of like straws. They're long colored tubes where they take them and they hit them on the ground. Oh, boom whackers, I remember those. Ready? Mm -hmm. So I want you to listen, okay? And see if you know what the song is. Okay, here I go. You're gonna hang out, but I'm gonna call Dad over, and we're gonna make your dad, Mr. Thompson, add a little bit of music too. Be right back. Okay, you guys ready? One, two, here you go. Beep, beep. Which one is the lowest sound? That one. That's, That's one. right. That's one. That's one. Which one is the highest sound? Ooh, very good. It is my, it's the glass I played. Is the glass that you played? Yeah, and I have a tiger. That's your glass. <laughs> 